It's nine o'clock. Let's start this um, special mercy council meeting. August 31st, 9 a.m. Calling this meeting to order, I would like to um, start this meeting off with um, we're very sad that we have a um, city employee that was um, killed uh, due to this hurricane. Um, his name is Martin Salazar, 20 year employee. Um, Oh, I haven't. Re we've tried to reach out for the family as soon as I can. I'm gonna personally um, go to the house and, and talk to the wife and the kids. Um, we tried that last night. We just had a hard time getting a hold of her. Um, we just want uh, that family and other families um, here in Pasadena to know that we care for them. We're gonna do everything we can in our powers to make sure that um, these times will go by as smoothly and as peacefully as they can. We don't have a prayer on the um, on the council member uh, on, on on this special council meeting, but I would I would like for a prayer to start this council meeting. Councilman Shane Bain, if you would not mind, I would like for you to start this council meeting with a prayer. Thomas, you, you can do it from my there, and, and the mic should work. Father in heaven, we come before you at this time with heavy hearts. Father, we have lost members of this family in the city, and our hearts and prayers and condolences go out to the family members in their time of need. And we just ask that you have grace and mercy upon that family on their, on their loss and all of the city family that has known this person and has worked with uh, Mr. Martin. And uh, we just lift the family up to you. Father, there's heavy hearts through this city, and there's people that are hurting and in pain. Father, you are a God of grace, mercy, and healing. Father, you have brought joy to the citizens of Pasadena as well. The outpouring and the support of each of our citizens that have volunteered to help for the call for relief, you have answered that through our citizens, Father, and we thank you for that. Father, there are people that are going to have needs in the future that we're unaware of at this time. And Father, I just ask that the Spirit continues to grow throughout our great community through this tragedy, that we are going to rise like eagles, and that we are going to be able to provide the care and provide for the needs of our citizens here in Pasadena. Father, we especially pray for the ones that have needs that are unspoken, and we just ask that you hear those needs. And we know that you are the one that will answer those prayers. In Christ's precious name, we thank you in advance. And thank you for what you've done for us and how you've blessed this great city. And Father, we especially ask for our sister cities as we lift them up in prayer as well, that you will meet their needs. In Christ's precious name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Thomas. Councilman uh, Sammy Casados could not make it to the council meeting. He was called into his plant to work. Um, but I do want to say that this council has worked so well during, the, during this hurricane. I've never seen this council so connected, well, for a long time. And I'm, I'm very proud of, um, of all these council members up here. They have been out in their districts. They have been out at the shelters. They have worked very, very <clears throat> hard. They have stayed in, in connect. <clears throat> in connection with the administration, with all the emergency management. And I'm very proud of this team up here. Thank you all so much. And this is how we should run our city together. With that said, um, Mr. Clark, if you will, we'll start the council meeting. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, sir. We have one action item on the agenda today, and I'll read the uh, matter is a resolution. Oh, is this? Hold on. For purposes of the mic, I'll repeat. Thank you, Thank you sir. Your Honor. We have one action item on the agenda this morning. It's a resolution. I'll read it as follows. A resolution confirming declarations and orders issued by the mayor relating to Hurricane Harvey and listing findings of council related thereto. Uh, let me, if I may, just explain very briefly yes, sir. what this does. You've issued as mayor... Uh, according to law, a disaster 
declaration during Hurricane Harvey, and also an emergency executive order of a curfew throughout the city. This resolution, the council uh, confirms that and uh, approves the continuation of the declaration of disaster and also of the curfew. Both of the existing orders are attached to the resolution. There's one slight amendment to the curfew, however, it will be from 12 a.m. until 5 a.m. Do we have a motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman Lehman. Second. Second by Councilman Bass. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That passes. Again, Council, thank you so much for working with us working for the city and that's what's important that we do everything we can for our city and this right here shows that this council is united and the city is united just as the uh, in the prayer 1100 people showed up at our disp at our disp excuse me a second i have been up so long it's been unbelievable at the um, dillard's and the macy's where we're getting donations from our citizens 1100 people showed up not just a drop off, but to help. That shows how this city really is. We're united and we're working together for the solutions. And at this time, I know it's on here, if any other council members has anything they want to add, please, this is your time. We'll start with, with you, Felipe. Thank you. Mr. Lehman. Uh, Mayor, I'd just like to commend, I'd like to commend all the city employees that have been working tirelessly in the emergency center and the city employees of the uh, fire department, police department. Uh, I know they've been separated from their families and taking care of their needs to uh, take care of Pasadena, and I just want to thank them. Thank you, sir. Councilman Harrison. Thank you, Mayor. Microphone. I <laughs> leave them all the time. <laughs> We can't, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we'll try. I have my deepest prayers to the Pasadena family, the Sandoval family, six of them, six of them out of one family. It was terrible. They were over trying to cross Green's Bow, but they're Pasadenians, every one of them. The children went to Williams Elementary and Pasadena High. My prayers are out to that family, and... Uh, Everybody's prayers ought to be out to the family, and I didn't know about our city employee, Martin Salazar. My prayers are out to his family, too. With that, I pass. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Willie. Thank you, Mayor. I'm sorry. Thank you, Mayor. Um, yeah, the, during these last few days, there's been a huge outpouring of support um, across the city um, in working with some different shelters. Um, they actually had to start turning away donations and, and help or trying to organize better because it was just too much. And as we kind of go into recovery phase here and the waters reside and people get back to their homes, um, you can still help. Maybe not at a shelter, but your neighbors are going to need help, whether it's cutting out uh, sheetrock, pulling out carpet or whatever the case is. And I think that will be a huge way to help. Um, I think there's going to be more of a concerted effort at these shelters. And you can just look to your right to your left, to you, to your neighbors, if you really want to reach out and help because they're really going to need it without a pass. Thank you, sir. Councilman Caton. First of all, um, I'd like to say let's issue a prayer for the Martin Selzor family. I knew him personally. He worked at our golf course. He cut our greens and our fairways. And I know Councilman uh, Bill Welch always brought Martin a Coke every time we played out there. Our team, and Martin could see us coming, and here he'd come. He'd, he'd cut across and meals. we give him a coat, and away he'd go. So let's, let's pray for that family. Also, uh, I know I drove every street in my district, and there's about, best I can guess, there's probably about 75 homes flooded. Now, if we hadn't put in all these detention basins over the past 20 years, we would have probably had as many as 500. It, it could have been really, really bad, worse than that. But thanks to all these detention basins, they were at their capacity, overflowing. And that Ormond Bayou is uh, that's where all these tributaries 
end up going into Armand Bayou. Everything traveling south goes into Armand Bayou. So, and what else I got? And that's about it. Thank you, sir. Councilman Bass. Mayor, I just want to say condolence to uh, Salazar family, but I want to also say that the staff, the members of uh, the mayor's team, starting probably Wednesday or Thursday, um, I know they've been up two, three, four o'clock at night because I've seen it, and um, the way that they've conducted themselves through this tragedy. I, it has been exemplary. I just the first responders, the fire, the police, and and the administrative staff has really, really done a good job. Um, I was at the uh, distribution center. Thank you for saying that word <laughs> <laughs> over here. And um, the folks coming in, it's it's overwhelming to see what's happening. The Macy's, they bring it into Macy's. It gets put out and then it's distributed down to the uh, old Dillard's. Each cubicle is set up. It's people go in, they fill out a form, and then they have people to actually go out there and shop for them and bring it right back. It is amazing how it's been set up so quickly. Um, uh, kudos. Thank you, you guys for doing that. Um, drove my district, drove most of Pasadena Sunday, uh, our, our streets, we had some flooding, but I feel very, very confident of, of being told that we had nearly 40 inches of rain. Uh, it's, it's an 800-year event. I don't know how they do 800 years because I don't know who was around, <laughs> but hopefully we'll never live to see this again. But I think Pasadena um, has survived, and it will do well. It will bring us together, I think, a lot of times. Um, the valleys make you appreciate the mountains. And so uh, seeing the outpouring, they were backed up to Southmore all the way down to Pasadena. Coming back past Sears, the people waited in line a long time to donate. And they kept coming and coming. I went by there probably five or six, and they were still coming. <laughs> uh, but uh, really, really, I uh, want to thank the first responders and everybody that got out there and did it. Pasadena is a good city. Good city. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Councilman. Pass. Councilman Shingman. I want to also extend uh, prayers and condolences uh, to the Salazar family uh, again, as well as our six uh, Pasadena people that also uh, lost their lives in this tragedy. Thank you, Don. Um, truly remarkable on how things were pulled together in this city. If you look at our old city hall building, the Texas Emergency uh, Medical uh, folks, they set up a mobile hospital in two and a half hours. I was over there the other night when they were setting that up, and uh, it, it was like an army of, lack of a better comparison, an army of ants. And that hospital saved and rescued, uh, helped uh, recover wounds that would not have been taken care of. Bayshore Hospital was closed. Uh, several of the local hospitals were closed. They were on drive-bys. The med center downtown wasn't taking uh, patients. And the ability to have that task force come into our city, set up in two and a half hours, have a Coast Guard landing operation going, over at the old, uh, I still call it Pasadena Town Square, but in front of the uh, Macy's building. Guys, truly remarkable. Uh, there are people that have assisted us from outside of our own community that love us, and uh, we owe them a very big um, uh, gratitude for, for helping us out. And with that being said, uh, I too did... Uh, drive through all of my district, and uh, we were blessed. Um, as Phil said, uh, we were talking earlier, the detention ponds that were planned out and the way that the city has uh, had those planned over the years, it, it saved our citizens, and I believe it truly probably saved lives. So, uh, you know, planning is very important going forward. Uh, we need to make sure that the decisions that we make, that, you know, they're thoughtful and, they're, and they are planned out 
for just an occasion just like this. What if? And then finally, uh, two other things. I want to recognize uh, all of our, our officers, first responders. Uh, you know, I, I, I claim them as family now, and, and they're the best of the best. Our city workers, the best of the best. You know, the hearts of a family came together, and, uh, you know, officers and first responders, city <clears throat> workers were away from their families for, for days. And uh, they said, no, this is what we, this is what we do. This is it. This is what we, we, we do. Another group that kind of maybe uh, hopefully didn't get overshadowed was uh, our fire marshals. Uh, Mayor, our fire marshals pay, played an important role on the distribution center over here getting it set up. And uh, two folks that I'd like to recognize is uh, Aaron Bell and uh, Officer, uh, and I hope to, I say this right, Ch Charcone. Did I say that right, sir? That's pretty close. Okay. Um, they took nothing and turned it into a remarkable enterprise of helping people. So those two folks, along with many, many, many other folks, uh, put this thing together to help our city recover. And then finally, uh, our Office of Emergency Management <laughs> folks, you will never know what they did, the decisions they made and the processes they had to work through, um, the legalities of uh, getting things taken care of. Those folks made it happen and uh, worked together with this great city team. Two people really want to recognize, and, and today, Mayor, is his last day. Yes, it is. Walter Gant. Walter Gant will be truly missed. I, I think today he was scheduled to have a retirement party. So, but from what I understand, he's still going to be in touch a little bit uh, to maybe help through some of the, the FEMA process or different things. But Walter, you will be missed, and thank you for your service. And we have a new uh, manager now, Frank. And uh, Frank took over, and you know, Walter kind of gave him a little guidance here and there, and, and we're in good hands. I agree with that. Frank Bangachia is the man over there. He, uh, matter of fact, our citizens need to know we were prepared for this because of that office. We prepared. That's how we got the hospital. We had the only hospital in southeast Harris County working. We also had the only airport that was working right here in Pasadena. We were prepared. And being prepared just shows this city is ready. And I'm very proud of um, this council, the volunteer firefighters. You know, first responders, we all say we love first responders because we do. The police officers, of course, I'm pro-police, but the volunteer firefighters, they were out working 24 hours a day through all this. Some of them, their houses were flooded and they were still on the, on the fire truck running calls. Those group right there really, really sets the standards of being probably the heroes, the unsung heroes of working this city working together because they did it for free. And I'm very, very happy and very honored to be able to work along with all these people. But our first responders are the best in Harris County. I said it many, many times during the, um, during the nights, during the day. I've been around law enforcement my whole life. I've been around command centers my whole life. I've never seen the energy, the teamwork, Pasadena, police department, fire department, and all the other departments working together. And it just shows we are prepared. We were prepared. And that's the reason why we're in the conditions that we're in. With that, this meeting's over. Again, thank you, and God bless you.